Hey, what's up? We're in business class trip. Let's get some headphones. So, we're the good people. <laughs> we, I paid maybe a fifth. A fifth of what this would cost because I have good credit, I had miles and points, and I just paid some taxes and fees, upgraded us to business class, so it's a lot easier for us to go home to Los Angeles from London to Heathrow. 609CreditRepair.com, you could do the same thing. I'm out. Hey, what's up everybody? Brandon Weaver here. As you can see, I got my London shirt on. I picked up this awesome shirt in Camden, London, England. Had a pretty good time there and had a pretty good time in Paris. However, we were supposed to be gone for a full two weeks and uh, we had some things come up. So first of all, I'd like to say overall, the London vacation, the Europe vacation was very cool. I had a good time, enjoyed myself, but only for about four or five days, maybe like three, yeah, three or four days. So this is what happened. So this is what happened. We had a friend who was supposed to meet us uh, for dinner in London and we he had to cancel and we weren't able to hang out with him and then we kind of got a little ill from the airplane food and then the flight over and, and the food uh, didn't agree with us so the next day we were kind of sick in bed. Jared was really sick in bed and I, I wasn't feeling all that well so um, we had some good, we had some chips, this really good like cut thick chips, really good from room service. Uh, you might have seen the video where I'm eating some food. Uh, we're, we're mostly inside that day in London and the next day we were taking a flight from London um, City Airport to Amsterdam. And we flew into Amsterdam and the whole city was, the whole the whole Netherlands I think, the whole country, yeah, had, was on uh, King's Day, a holiday. So most of the city and the country was shut down and we really couldn't get much food. Um, a lot of the stuff was catered food outside, like you would purchase something and you could get some food that was kind of already warmed up and heated so it wasn't like purchasing a meal inside of a restaurant, sitting down and getting warm. We couldn't sit down inside anywhere. It was all outside and it started to rain, it started to get really cold, it was shivering. We had Patagonians, we had our best equipment to stay warm and it just, it wasn't working out. So the first couple of days were a little rocky and um, we had some signs that it was going to be hard. What I took from this and gathered from this was as you get more signs, okay, and I, and I say this stuff to uh, educate, to help, to shortcut, to mentor. I wish I had somebody that I learned from, which I have online, and, and I think this is what this community is all about, is about growth and learning and how to, and you know, it's not just about building your money, it's also about building your health, building your wealth, your livelihood. So when I see signs like that, when you see signs like that, things are not going your way. You got to make a change. You got to make a switch. And we f were f teetering on this. We're, we're not sure yet. So we tried to get a flight from Amsterdam to Rome to where it was warm. It was nice and warm down there to Rome or anywhere south. And uh, we missed purchasing the ticket with our points by about 30 minutes or something like that. We couldn't get to Rome. So we had to stay the night in the Netherlands. The heat was broken in the hotel. They brought up a nice space heater though, so that helped. Kept us warm. It was very cold that night, but we were okay, we kept us warm. And in the morning we realized, you know, we're gonna go to Paris and, you know, we had figured out we were gonna get a train the night before. We, we, we were gonna go to Paris, so we're like, we get out, we'll go to the train station, we'll go to Paris. We went from the Netherlands to Brussels and Brussels had a bigger train station, so it was affordable. We went from Brussels to Paris. It was 99 euros each, and the dude told me it was gonna be like at 11.15. And I was like, okay, great, 11.50. But it was at 11.15 was the train. So we missed the train, the, the conductor, whomever was the, in charge of the train, charges, tried to charge us an extra 65 euros each. So we're like, this is not working out. We broke down, Jared was crying. We go down there to get our tickets uh, exchanged. We thought we were gonna have to pay, but they didn't. They just exchanged our tickets. We're off, we got to Paris. By the time we got into Paris, it was late night, and again, we just had to grab a hotel. So a lot of what we were doing was just being in hotels and being on trains and being on planes and traveling. So it was tough, we didn't really get to see much. So we both decided we're gonna cut it short. It was like Thursday. We're just gonna do 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we're gonna leave on Monday. So we're gonna do uh, a couple of days in Paris, a couple of days in London. And once we said, okay, we're gonna go, we started to have a good time. We started to really enjoy Paris. We really saw a lot of awesome stuff in Paris, had some awesome food in Paris, went to the Eiffel Tower, as you guys saw, and then went back to London, had a really good time, enjoyed. Now London, I want you to know, London is really expensive because of the exchange rate, the dollar is maybe half of what it is over there. So, you know, if you have a dollar there, you have 50 cents, 50 pounds, you know, 50p. So it's expensive. So if you are gonna to travel to London specifically, to uh, England, it's going to be expensive. However, you can get some awesome shirts, right? You get some awesome time, uh, times in London as well. We went to Camden Market, which is really super cool. So uh, just aside from it being expensive, it is totally worth it. Just make sure you're prepared to shell out a little bit more money. And it's totally worth it to go to Paris. It's awesome. It's wonderful, I loved it. Amsterdam was nice too, but we just didn't get to experience it because of the holiday. And we went off peak, we went during the winter time, so maybe take that into account when you're doing it. But when you see all these signs, right? You see all these signs that things are not going the way they're supposed to go. Make the switch, make the change, and things will start to cascade in your favor, okay? So right now, maybe you're dealing with something, maybe you're dealing with a financial situation like your credit, okay? Make that change. And the cascade will happen. Okay, make that one little change. You're just a millimeter off, make that one little change. It could be as easy as paying down some high interest rate debts. It could be disputing your old negatives. It could just be watching this video and getting in the right mindset. It could be attacking those late payments on your student loans. It could be a lot of different things that will cascade into wealth. And I show you these things to show you that you can do the same thing because really I paid some taxes and fees on this, maybe a couple hundred bucks to get us two people to from Lion Heathrow to uh, LAX on business class. Very, 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 very minimal. The, the miles were totally free, uh, uh, but I just had to pay for some taxes and fees. And actually, I got that back with my Amex Rewards cards. They let me get that back, so the entire thing was free. So if you want those free things, 609 Credit Repair, man. You know, you know the guy, Brandon Weaver, I'm here. I'm also expanding the team. I have new managing directors helping me run all these disputes and do customer service because there's so much to do now. There's so many clients to help. I also would love to do more um, video testimonials, consulting testimonials, Q&A testimonials, frequently asked questions for you guys because a lot of you will write in and you're, you have to wait for an email response. It'd be nice to go right to the video source, right? All right, so 609 Credit Repair Man, 609 CreditRepair.com will change your life. All right, I'll see you all on the other side.